Page Generator Pro is designed to mass generate pages, posts, or custom post types by iterating through a number of terms in your keywords that you'll use in what we call a content group or a template. To demonstrate a really simple example of this, we might want a service keyword that lists the services our business offers. In this case, seven services related to bathroom installation, remodeling, plumbing, etc. We can then use this keyword in a content group and write some content. When we click on generate via browser, the software will then iterate through those seven terms in that keyword, generating a unique page for each of them. Page Generator Pro supports multiple keywords. So to build on this example, we may wish to generate a number of pages for service and location combinations. In this example, we will generate pages for all of the cities within the county of West Midlands in the UK. And we can see we now have a location keyword comprising of 203 cities, towns and villages within the county of the West Midlands. And we can update our existing content group and add our location keyword. If we delete our existing generated pages and we generate via browser again, this time we'll see that the system will generate 1,421 pages and that's because if we refresh our memory on the keyword screen, we've got seven services and 203 locations. So the software right now is generating every single unique combination across those two keywords. As we can see here, for example, bathroom installation in Knoll, we can see bathroom installation in Yardley Wood. As the software continues, we can see that it's moved on to the next term, bathroom remodeling, and once again, we're cycling through all of the locations. Another feature of the keyword system in Page Generator Pro is the ability to define columns of data. So building on our service keyword, we can use the comma and add a shortened version of each of our services, define our delimiter as a comma, and we can name our two columns that correspond to the two columns of data in our terms. If we look at our content group, we can build on this and select the precise data from that keyword that we require. In this example, I'd like the full service name to be the title of the page, and then for the content, I'd like to select the shortened version of that keyword term. You'll see when we generate all of our pages, we have the full term here and the shortened version here. And again, for bathroom remodeling, we have the full name here and the shortened version here. With our keyword system, you're not limited to your data being in this terms field. We support a number of third-party sources, including CSV files, URLs, databases, OpenAI for automatically building a list of terms, an RSS feed or a spreadsheet that you may wish to upload. For example, with the CSV file, we can upload a file to the WordPress media library or select an existing CSV file that exists, tell the system that the columns are in the first row of the file, define the delimiter, which will typically be a comma, give our keyword a name and click on save. You'll then see a preview of the data and you can see the column names here. If we go back to our content group, we can then reference that data both in our title and our content. For example, I may wish to generate a series of pages for all service and location combinations. And we can see here that we now have our service keyword, our location name, and then down here, we've got the short version of the service along with the location city and its county. Another great feature of the content group system is the ability to bring in dynamic elements. Dynamic elements allow us to bring in dynamic content from a range of sources, including Creative Commons, a Google map, your media library, Wikipedia, YouTube, etc. And these are designed to work with the keyword system where, for example, we may wish to display an image related to the service keyword that we're generating pages for and then we can generate some content with an image from a third party source. Other dynamic elements include Google Maps, where we can enter a location, perhaps of where your business or service is based. And you can see you get an embedded Google Map for each of the pages that are generated. The map 
will display the location based on the location keyword. Because it's 2023, we've integrated with OpenAI and this allows you to automatically produce content based on the topic that you give. In this example, we might want to generate some content about the service that we offer. And what the system will do for each of the generated pages is replace the service keyword with the applicable term that it's cycling through. So in this example, OpenAI has returned some content below our first paragraph on how to find the best bathroom installation, some headings and some paragraphs, very SEO friendly. You're not restricted to generating pages. In Page Generator Pro, we support any post type, including posts, WooCommerce products, and any other custom post types that you may have registered within your WordPress site. There is also the option to schedule the post that you generate. And this is really useful if you're looking to mass generate your content now, but you would like WordPress to slowly publish that content over time. In our example here, we can see that we've scheduled all of our posts to generate one hour apart. So WordPress will transition these from scheduled to published when the applicable time hits. And this is a great way to slowly drip feed your content to your website and also to the search engines such as Google. We also include support for many of the major SEO and schema plugins. For example, with Yoast SEO, we're able to define the necessary SEO title and we support keywords here as well and we can define the meta description also. And when we edit a generated page, you can see that the configuration that we've supplied from our content group has been applied straight into the SEO plugin. We also support a number of common page builders including Divi, Elementor, Oxygen, Visual Composer and others. There's a full list in our documentation of the current list of supported page builders. One of the most common page builders is Elementor, and you can see the option here within your content group to edit with Elementor. And this brings you into the familiar Elementor interface where we can insert our necessary widgets. And again, we have support for keywords within this system. You've got the option to select the Elementor page layout, whether that's canvas or full width. We can see the list of generated pages. And if we look at the first one, you can see that we have the blank Elementor canvas just with our text and the keywords have been replaced. We do also support WordPress's classic editor. And again, you have access to all of your dynamic elements in the same way that you would within the Gutenberg or block editor. And when you work on your content, once again, you see that we've got full keyword support as well. Page Generator Pro also supports generating taxonomy terms such as categories or tags. And this system again has full support for keywords. For example, we may wish to generate categories for each of our services based on our service keyword. So we can go ahead, enter our service name. We could define some slug and other parameters, add our group, generate via browser and you'll see that the software will generate categories and when we navigate to the category screen we can see that our seven categories have been created. For agencies building sites for their clients we have a log system that will provide reports of the pages that were generated as well as when they were produced and we have options to filter this by content group as well as the ability to export that log into a CSV file format. If you're using the software for multiple websites, we have the option to import and export configurations. And this allows you to select settings, keywords, content groups, and term groups that you may wish to export into a configuration file that can then be imported into another site. If you're looking for further details on any of the functionality we've mentioned, do check out our documentation on our website, as well as the videos on YouTube.